Hi everyone, welcome to part 3 of my Auntie Weaver Scrap and Crap projects. So for this one, we're going to make the ephemera and all the inserts to go in the Happy Mail folder that we made the last time. So I'm going to start with a, a flower made with tissue. So I'm just going to take this piece of tissue. Paper there. I've got my scallop punch. Punch twice. So that makes about uh, fourteen pieces of the tissue flowers, or the t scallop tissues. It isn't a flower yet, is it? So we put them all together. And make a hole where you think the center would be. That looks about right. So you've got your hole. Then I'm use my breads. Okay, it's yellow. Actually, let's use blue ones. I haven't used one yet. Of hole. Ow. Get that in there. There we go. I think it was off camera there a bit. So anyway, all I did was put the bread in the hole. So now what we do is we take each piece one by one and start scrunching it up. I love making these flowers because no matter how messy you are it still turns out quite nice. So that's no science to it, just scratch it up piece by piece. I have to get a better video editing software because I can't force, uh, like fast forward bits and pieces of the video. It's either the whole thing or not at all. So I need to find a different a different option. That's why I do a lot of things off camera because. There's a lot of dead silence while this happens. 
but hey, we're almost to the end here. And I'm not much of a talker, as you probably noticed. I can't actually talk and do these. Oh. The reason you have to do it separately is so then they all go in different directions, otherwise you have... It looks more natural. So anyway, you get the idea. That's your little scrunched up flower. And because it's got the bread, it just, you can just put it on there. With the magnet at the end there, like that. So, where we send the Happy Meal too, they can use it, they can take it out and use it somewhere else if they'd like. Next I've got these bottle caps. This is a little petted thing. I'm going to take a one of the 6x6 six six strips and just use a 1 inch circle punch. Punch that out. Stick it in there. So I've stuck that on there and once it's dry I used one of these plastic capuchons. There you go. Simple. And another embellishment that you can just stick on there. Of course you can make a lot of a lot more things, but I'm just giving you a few ideas to go. So another thing that I made is a little uh, ephemera folder booklet thing. So I'm using the uh, light blue and dark pink cardstock and I've cut it at 6 3 by 8 and 3 1 by 8. Next we're gonna score it. So we score it, which one shall we have at the side? We we'll score it at three one by eight and three and a quarter. So three one by eight and three and a quarter. And just fold it at your skirt. So that's your little spine. That's your little booklet. I'm gonna choose uh, four of these three by three cards to go on the cover and to go inside. I think I'm liking that one for the cover. Too. Maybe I'll go with that. All right, so <laughs> all right now the one that goes on the cover, we're gonna put a brad here. So where's the flowers? Oh, this one. Yes. And I like
I think I like this one better. It's oh, hard to decide sometimes. Oh, let's just go with that one. All right. So, I'll put them in because I don't want to damage my. Stick it on there. Right. Right, so I've stuck the cover and the middle and the one on the left. Now before I put this one on, I need to figure out and where to put my magnets. That's the best place to stick it on. So I'm just gonna put a drop of glue here and stick it. with that piece and then we're going to stick that over I like to put a bit of glue stick on because if I need to move it around it is easier with this if I do it directly with the tape it's stuck in one place all right that's it and then we have our closure Now I'm going to use the ephemera, what's left of the ephemera, to make a uh, tuck spot so we can include some things in here. So what we fit in here. That might work. Yes, I think I'll do that. So with this one, I'm just going to put glue here and here, so it makes it tuck. I'm just going to put 
uh, glue on this top so you have another tuck here Oops, tuck. There you go. So you, now you can include some ephemera in your Happy Mail. You just tuck it in. Like that. Close. So that goes in. Put that in here. And we'll move on to the next. So next I'm going to make a paper clip. So I've got my paper clip. Uh, an altered paper clip. So what I did was with the Sizzix die, I have die cut this coffee cup. These are the extras. And this one as well. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp. Where is it? I'm going to use this stamp and stamp it on the coffee cup. So there we've got that stamp there. And then I'm gonna use this one. Just stamp it directly on this. There you go. I'm gonna stick this on here just use one of these and the cover there like that and now with the other coffee cup put the paper clip This on top. So we now have our altered paper clip. And you can just slide that in there. 
And the last thing that I'm making is another little book. using our 3x4 journaling cards. So what I'm going to do is just score it in between each card. with the pattern put side all right so you're making so that we're going to make a book uh, with pockets up uh, pockets on top so what I'm going to do is these two the two middle pockets I'm going to put glue here and here. So you have your middle pocket here. Next, what we do is I've taken a, I've taken a piece of ribbon, and we're gonna stick that on here. Um, this is about 16 inches long. You can cut off what you don't need. So I'm just gonna stick that around. your closure now see which one I'd like for the cover What's this? so now with these two I'm gonna make I'm gonna make another pop pocket here as well so I will put glue on the two sides and at the bottom
So now you've got one, two, and at the back we do the same thing. So put glue on the two sides and at the bottom. So now you've got your book with your three top pockets. Now I've die cut some tags to go in them. So you got your tags in there as well and you just tie it up. Now you can also decorate each page as you'd like. A uh, bit more ephemera that you can stick on or some of the stickers. something there so anyway um, if you would like to see how I decorated the book you please do check out the blog and I've made it a different one there so you get to see the different as I said I just can't think and talk can I So I made a different one on the blog so you can see that the other things that I've done. So all of these are different on the blog. I think this is pretty much the same, I, but it's all the same idea. So please do check out the blog as well. And remember that uh, this is the third video of the giveaway. So there's one more to come. And if you have to comment on all four of them, there's two already released. This is the third one. And you have to be a subscriber and on the 31st of January, I will choose a winner and that person can choose one of these four projects that I've made as their gift. So thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing and see you again soon.